welcome to today's reading from a magnificent passages from the Upanishads. I have taken these beautiful verses to be used as prayers for the end of the year, the last Monday of the year. And these passages are taken from the book, Teachings of Great Ones, from the chapters on the Upanishads. They are beautiful, and I'll tell you a little bit of background on why I uh, decided to do this. When my mom passed away two years ago, I searched for something to read in honor of her life and her passing that would really lift me and help me deal with the grief process. My sister and I talked about it and we came upon these passages. I love them. And I started reading them on the day of her passing every month. And then my sister and I decided to do it consistently because it lifted us. It spoke not only to my mother, but it spoke to us as her daughters, as the cosmic travelers. And as I read it, I see that it has so much teaching in it, so much upliftment, and it deals with life, with passing, with our own mortality. And so I wanted to read this for you. And if you have this uh, handout, you can print it from our website or just close your eyes and listen. And I want to read it this year especially for those who departed from COVID-19. This has been a very trying year for everyone in the world. More than one and a half million people have passed just from COVID. And of course, so many more from other uh, issues and other problems and wars and conflicts and so on. So I wanted to read this and, and dedicate it to everyone, to those who have survived, to those who have passed and really put our life in perspective. These passages are so beautiful that they learn more about life. They're so short and brief and they just make so much sense to me. I found great solace in reading them every month and I imagine myself reading them for my mother and then it turns into I'm reading it for myself. It's really beautiful. So if you have this printed, you can read with me or just close your eyes and meditate on it as I read through it. I will read all the way through, and at the end, we will read it with uh, visualization. Okay, so that would be the, the meditation part of it. So let's go ahead and begin. I will begin from with the wholeness passage and then go right to the verses. And I will read all the verses that are included in this book, and that is all the way through verse 18. It is so beautiful. I think you're going to love it. So close your eyes or read with me and just imagine the whole universe, the whole universe and how we are born and we are whole when we are born and wholeness remains with whether we are in this world or in the other world. And then when the self is spoken of, let me just give us a clue. It is the cosmic self that he is talking about the impersonal, absolute self. And I think the rest really don't need any kind of description. I think you will love them and understand them. Okay, let's begin from wholeness. From wholeness emerges wholeness. When wholeness emerges from wholeness, wholeness still remains. The whole existence is by the Lord. Whatsoever exists belongs to him. Renounce and enjoy it. Do not desire the wealth of anyone else. If a man's renunciation is continuous during all of his life, even if he desires to live a hundred years, he will not be trapped in karma. Renunciation brings freedom from karma. This is his sacred duty. The world is in darkness. The slayer of the cosmic self eventually falls into gloomy darkness, 
where demons live. The self never moves, but is very swift for the mind. The senses cannot reach him. He is beyond their comprehension, remaining still and unmoved. He causes action in all those that exist. The self seems to move, yet does not move at all. One thinks he is far, yet he is the closest. He is within all that exists, yet he is not limited in all that exists. Whosoever sees the self in all beings and all beings in the self, he is the one who has perception and therefore does not hate anyone. When a man knows that all beings in their essence are the sparks of the supreme self, he sees the unity in all and becomes free from illusion and anxiety. The self is all pervading, radiant, transcendental, invulnerable, pure. The evil cannot approach him. He is the fountain of all wisdom. He is the one who is in constant becoming. He is the one who sees. He is the self-existence. He is the source of the law and every manifested being. Thou who devote their lives only to rituals, hoping that rituals will save them, enter into gloomy darkness. And those who only study the scriptures, but do not apply them, enter into greater darkness. Those great sages who revealed to us the nature of self told us that the mere observation of rituals and the mere study of scriptures lead us into darkness. Whoever knows both rituals and scriptures and strives to the knowledge of the self attains immortality. Those who worship only matter and want to be in matter are in darkness. Those who worship the impersonal absolute one face their own ignorance. They say when one worships the unmanifested one, he attains different results than the one who worships the manifested world. Whoever knows both the unmanifested cause and the manifested creation, he attains immortality by destroying his ignorance about the self. Now speak directly to those who passed. The door of the truth is covered by a golden disc. Open it, O pilgrim, in order to see yourself in the pure truth. O thou who sustains the whole universe, the only one, the only power, the only sun, withdraw your rays so that I see your most blessed face, and in thee I behold my true self. Let this body be burned to ashes after my last breath has returned into the ocean of prana. O Lord, who is the recorder of all sacrifices, remember all that I have done for the one self, for you. Om. 
guide us, O oh fire, my Lord, to the right path so that we all reach you. You know all our deeds. Please remove all hindrances and numerous vices on our path. We give you our word of obedience, more radiant than the sun, purer than the snow, subtler than the ether is the self, the spirit within my heart, I am that self, that self am I. Ooh. I hope you find these beautiful passages helpful to you and in times of trouble that you read them for yourself and you read them also as if you're speaking to a departed so that they also become free and able to go to their cosmic self and see that we are all one and there is no partialness. It is always wholeness. From wholeness comes wholeness and when wholeness comes from wholeness, Homeless only remains. So I wish you a beautiful, healthy, and prosperous new year. I know we've gone through many, many tribulations this year, everyone in the world. No one was left untouched. And we can still get through this. Just hang in there and use your best efforts to lift yourself into your spiritual higher self and see that wholeness see that eternity, see that sun opening its doors to you and see the truth. And when you read these, the door of the truth is covered by a golden disc, open it, O pilgrim, in order to see your pure self and see yourself in wholeness. Thank you for being with me through this year. We started back in May and here we are every Monday. I really enjoyed hearing your comments, knowing your presence, and I hope we see you again next year. Thanks for being with me and thank you for your support and your love. We can't exist without your support. So thank you again. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of the week. Bye for now.